Hello everyone and welcome back to another custom diecast review. Now I know I missed my 3 o'clock upload again today. I do apologize, but that just means you'll have one at 7.30, so no worries. You got this one at 5. Hopefully, I think I'm a little late and I might be a little late on the 5 o'clock upload. But I mean, hey, hopefully we can kind of get this uh, review underway. But anyway, this is a diecast that doesn't really have a lot of use, per se, but I had a spare Camaro Z01, not a 1LE, of course. But I was sitting here, and I'm like, I kind of want to make a promo car, or scheme, for the uh, Wrangler Racing Motorsports. If you don't know what Wrangler Racing Motorsports is, it is my team that I have in my Stop Motion series. It is also in the NASCAR Duralast Cup series, and it's also in the McDonald's Cup series on PlayStation 4 for, you know, NASCAR Heat 5. So... For the stop motion series, this is what it's for. Now, this is for 2022, meaning we're going to have a different number and stuff like that. So, as you know, as of right now, I'm in the 16 for the series. But in 2021, well, this year, after... Okay, so my my thing is a season behind, right? So, I'm running 2020 schemes in 2021. 2021 schemes in 2022. You see what I'm saying? So, in... Next, the next season, I can't run the 88 because Bowman is still here. So, in the next season, after that, I will have the 88 because Bowman will be in the 48. And I'll just, I'll take the 88 because, one, it's 88. I mean, come on, junior fan, Bowman fan, come on now. So, I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to miss that opportunity. And a lot of people said, with this font, it kind of reminded them of Dale Jarrett. Now, that was not the purpose. That was not the intention. I just kind of threw 88 out there. I don't know if that's going to be the actual font of my car. But, yeah, so we got the updated thing right here. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the hood. Now, I know, first things first, you can see the blue does not match with the blue on the decal. That is because the decal prints lighter than the actual color. So it did match on, like, on screen. But when it comes to actually... Printing it out, the blue is a little bit darker than the template, and the template printed lighter for whatever reason. So yeah, unfortunately, we do have that issue. But right here on the hood, we have... Ah! <laughs> Oops. Right here on the hood, we have... Let's see, we got 0, 36, 88, and 99. So, I know it's very, very uh, pixelated, but that's just because my printer sucks. So, the zero is longbow hunting, or hunter. The 36 is going to be, uh, he's going to be replaced with Ethan. I was trying to think of his YouTube name, but I think he changed it. I don't remember what it is now. So, as of right now, it was uh, Smokey, I believe. I think Smokey the Retriever. Uh, it's not a dog. No, it's an actual person. But uh, he was kicked out of season, of this season. Uh, for a certain reason, then he's going to be brought back next season. The 88 is going to be me, of course, and then the 99, of course, is going to be Big Z Racing right there. So, it's got Wrangler Racing Motorsports. That is our logo. Uh, I created I created that myself. Now, if you can't read the cursive underneath there, uh, I know it is a little, you know, a little blurry. It says, one team with one dream. I don't know. I figured I'd just put on a slogan or something there. Then it got established 2018, which is actually true. I started that in 2018. So, two, almost three years ago, Wrangler Racing Motorsports did become a thing and be uh, became alive. Now, on the front banner, you got LW3. And on the back banner, you got LW3 as well. The reason for that is because I just had them spare. I already had them printed out and I didn't have a use for them. So, I just threw them on here. We got the Little Wrangler Cup Series right there. Uh, you see what I did there? I kind of threw it on the top like a championship logo type deal. So yeah, that's uh, something I kind of did. I thought it would be okay, and I think it is okay just for a promo car. So yeah, and then of course we got 2022 right there, and we got terrible, Jesus, we got terrible decaling. Look at that, I didn't notice that was coming up like that, or I could have I could have put that to, uh, I could have fixed that actually, but... You know, it is what it is. Again, the decaling isn't perfect, but I mean, hey, you know, it's just a promo car, so I didn't really care too much. On the back here, you got a terrible back end, but you got the taillights and the Chevy Bell tie there. 
You got my logo there, and you got Wrangler, which is going to be a sponsor for the next season. For well, for 2022 anyway, it's going to be a primary scheme. Got the 88 there. Looks like it looks like I put it a little low, but that's a, that's okay. I uh, got the you know nothing on the B post or anything, unfortunately, uh, because again that blue does not match. Now I wish my printer was a little bit better because again the blue just kind of sucks. So you got Goodyear right there. You got NASCAR race car there, and they got Moog, Mel, Comp, Utterbrock, and Sunoco. Then you got the front end here. Now I tried to make it fit as much as possible. Now you can see that didn't really happen. And of course you got the blue gap there. So yeah, that's uh that's nice. But anyway. Yeah, so Wrangler Racing Motorsports, I'm going to actually make another one of these for, like, now, if that makes sense. This one's for the future. I'm going to make one for, what would it be? What would it be? I guess it'd be 2018. That's when I did that. But anyway, yeah, so, would you look at that? I uh, got some gold rims. I explained the gold rims. No, I didn't. I didn't explain the gold rims because I haven't uh, uploaded that video yet. Ah, okay, okay, cool. So, this video right here was supposed to be with another video, but I kind of separated them for a certain reason. Now, I'll explain the gold rims to you in a minute. So, Diecast Buffet, right, loves the chrome-lipped wheels. Absolutely loves them. And there's a lot of teams that do chrome-lipped wheels or just chrome rims and stuff like that. So, I'm like, you know what? My favorite color, of like, out of all of them, is gold. I don't mean out of, like, metal or, like, material-type color. I mean, like, actually, gold is over top of everything. It's over top of blue, over top of any other color ever, even though gold's not really a natural color. But still, gold is up there. So I'm like, I'm going to have a trademark where I don't have chrome-lipped wheels, but I have gold-lipped wheels. So I'm like, you know what? I feel like that's going to be pretty awesome. So, yeah, that's what we kind of came to be and again i'm going to make another one i hope it's not as bad as this one because this one is absolutely terrible uh you're not going to see this anywhere you might see this on track uh, or not on track but like, i don't know like in the garage or something for a promotion in on uh, the nascar not the nascar cup series but the little wrangler cup series because you know sometimes i will put okay so last season I put the Fords, the Ford Mustangs, because we was running Ford Fusions in the Homestead race, I put the Ford Mustangs there, so it can be like a, kind of like a preview of what's going to be next season, because we're going to switch from the Ford Fusions to the Ford Mustangs, which was this season, so that's what we did, we got the, so like next season in, or this season in Homestead, I'm going to have some Camaro Z011 LEs in there. And, you know, because we're going to switch from ZL1s to ZL11 LEs and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's kind of like a preview to what's going to come up into uh, the stop motion series, which I thought is kind of cool. So, yeah, that's kind of the history behind this die cast. Now, I didn't really have a point to it, but I'm like, you know what? I just I kind of want to make one. So that's what I did. So, yeah, but that's going to be it. You know, nothing really much for this die cast. Now, I just did it for a... For a me thing, I guess, because, like, I, again, I like the history of my channel, because my, my channel's come a long way ever since, you know, I started, of course. So I, would, I want to know my little, like, not milestones, but my little projects here and there. So I kind of do what I can to kind of keep some history uh, in my house or in my building just for, you know, that purpose. But anyway, that's going to be all for this diecast review. So thank you all so much for watching. I know this one was kind of a lame one. It wasn't really anything special, but, I mean, hey, you know, I figured I'd review it anyway. But again, that's going to be it. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.